Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from wherever you are watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, the discussion we are having in this country is about the impeachment of one Rigatha Gashagwa. We still understand that the system want to keep us busy discussing non-issues rather than focusing on serious issues. Because, you know, impeaching Gashagwa is not a solution to our problem. The impeachment should be of William Ruto and Gashagwa if you want to solve our problem. Because if you impeach Gashagwa, you leave Ruto a huge problem of lies, corruption, and other things. Because he to he's really tolerating uh, corruption and the many other bad things. When you impeach William Ruto, you are saying Gashagwa should be the president. Another huge problem, a mountain of problems. So none of these two is good. Impeaching one, you are not helping. It should all go. But then we are here because Ruto side is pushing for something else. They don't want to regard the Gashagwa. But Gashagwa is now coming out also to share information which actually the other side is really struggling to paint Gashagwa as the worst. And Gashagwa is also really trying by every means also now to start exposing this regime on how he has been treated by them. For the first time now Gashagwa is coming openly to share information in his form to confirm how members of parliament have been abusing him through the SMS. Someone just sit down and write an SMS to abuse Rigadi Gashagwa. If you listen to him, you can easily conclude and know the person that Gashagwa might be alleging to have been abusing him through an SMS. I think I have a message that you have given me to the people who 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 have given me to Akikuja bomba yake usiku matusi hapa kwa simu yangu. Anatuma kwa. Eh, kwa simu yangu. Eh, nitakuonesha. Tuzamaliza hii. Mujidi off the camera muende mkijua. Muone ile ile mafarao iko katika kutoka bonde la ufa. Yule rais maneno. Yeye ni mwambia. Hata mwingine alikuja hapa kwa hii gate. Mm. Akasema akaambiwa okay, alikuja siku ya Jumamosi. Na nilikuwa nilikuwa hapa kwa kinyosi niko na niko na kinyosi hapa kuna kijana anakuja kunitengeneza nywele e, na nilikuwa nategenezwa hapo kichwa kulikuwa saturday sasa askari wamwambia wacha tuende tuulize ah matusi kasema hata pale state house sisi hatusimani kwa mlango mm. kwa hapa ni nani huyu ni nani anafikiria yeye ni nani na sisi tulimweka hapa tunaweza hata mtoa alikuwa anakuja kukuona eh na alikuwa amenipigia simu nikamwambia kuja saa sita akakuja saa tano so hata siku nimepeana report akija kwa sababu saa ilikuwa bado kufika pale akaambiwa wacha twende huyu askari ndio atoke hapo kwa mlango kufika hapa akatukana wale walikuwa hapo akaingia gari akapitwa na akasema hii mtu ni kumpafu na tutamtoa hapa yeye anafikiria ni nani mjumbe alikuwa kwenu hivyo na nikaenda nikamwambia rais unajua sasa hata kama ulinipea hii kasi si heshima kidogo tu mimi ni naibu wa rais nimechaguliwa na wa Kenya iko acha gani kunitukana na ni mjumbe tu nikikuonesha ile mesi ya nianigia usiku kuniita kubafu sasa mimi unajua sasa nasema 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 sisi nauliza tunauliza tu wabunge wetu wa bonde la ufa hata kama hamuna heshima kwangu si muachane na mimi tu si kama niko na shida nipate kwa watu wengine mkumbuke mimi nilikuwa hapo nilipigia nyinyi campaign hakuna mtu sikufika kwake nikamwombea kura nikasaidia rais kwa hiyo uwezo nilikuwa naye nikaongea na watu wetu tukamsaidia rais hii madharau hii yote ni ya nini eh? now i'm just wondering why did gashagwa chose to mention a region rather than just you know just saying so and so but he is really blaming a whole region rift valley <laughs> i don't know why he went that extent 
But then his message is very clear to the people. And there is a reason why Gashagwa is issuing this message. So about two or three things I want us to look into. The reason why Gashagwa is sharing this information as of now. A probable member of parliament that Gashagwa might be talking about. And why he is now blaming a whole region Rift Valley. But before we go deeper into that, just a quick request for those who are watching and you are not a subscriber, please consider subscribing to our channel subscribers and master. Thank you so much. And again, to all our viewers, please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much. And back to this discussion. Now, who is this member of parliament that has been writing the abusive message to the Gatha Gashagwa? Of course, right now, if you go, on social media, you will realize that most of members of parliament from Rift Valley are not happy with Gashagwa. I've seen even the deputy speaker of the National Assembly, Gladys Bosciole, saying it publicly that she's going to impeach the Gashagwa and Gashagwa should know that she should prepare to go home. Many members of parliament have done the same. So even now the woman rep. But Oscar Sud, when he speak, people will trust because that's a statement from deep state. He's just communicating the message from the deep state. And uh, we have seen how Oscar Sud has been really threatening regarding the Shakwa. We've heard of this story of someone going to the official resident of the deputy president some time back, then abused the police officer and drive away. That person was none other than Kipchumba Oscar Sudi, the capsulated member of parliament. So Gashagwa, without even mentioning, we can easily understand that he's talking about Oscar Sudi. That is the man that Gashagwa might be alleging had abused him through an SMS. Hakuna mengine ni Oscar Sudi. Before I had a complaint of a president that so and so, he has abused me. And the mbunga mengine ange muita tu ama ange lecture. But now, Oscar Sudi is William Ruto. That is it. When he speak, he's speaking on behalf of Ruto. So the threat about impeaching Gashagwa did not start today. But <laughs> So he had to speak to the president so that the president can reprimand Oscar Sudi. That's why I had to go to Ruto. I had to go to the lecture to your mbunge to public. I had to go to the lecture to Kali. But now he had to communicate to the president because he knows. Oscar Sudi is Ruto's confident. That is it. But then what Gashaka is looking for in all this, it is sympathy. He don't want sympathy from Rift Valley. Because you know he might not get. Since he has never championed for the national unity. He is more of a tribal leader. But he's looking for sympathy from his own people. You know, when you are wounded, you go back to your people. So the Shaka is back to his people. <laughs> he wants sympathy from Mount Kenya. That's the reason why the Shaka had to share this information and talk about how he has been abused. So the people will see, indeed, the Shaka has suffered in the hands of Ruto's allies. So, this is to whip the emotion of the people of Mount Kenya to sympathize with Gashagwa and stand with him. That is the whole message that Gashagwa is looking for in this narration or expose. He's sharing about being intimidated, disrespected by leaders from Rift Valley. So the main aim, sympathy. But before you sympathize with regard to Gashagwa, you have to ask yourself a question. Is this the same Rigata Gashagwa who humiliated, abused 
the immediately retired president his excellency uhuru midai kenyatta ama ni gashagwa mgani gashagwa alitusu alitusi mheshimiwa uhuru kenyatta live on camera in his presence he embarrassed him before uh, presidents from other countries who had attended their inauguration uhuru alikuwa na uamuzi wa kusema kwamba i won't attend the inauguration i can be busy doing my own things but he chose to go and attend and do a ceremonial handover akapatana na matusi kutoka kwa mheshimiwa Rigathi Gashagwa so before you sit with Gashagwa you should also meditate flash uh, flash back and remember how Gashagwa handled Uhuru Kenyatta before he came for your sympathy mimi ikifika hapo sina sympathy na Gashagwa ninakumbuka he abused to huru kenyana so badly in the name of defending william ruto in the name of seeking the support of mount kenya as a region sasa kumekwaje should we say that god is paying back regarding kashakwa <clears throat> So this sympathy it might not be there because people are going to remember what Gashagwa had done to his own brother It also I think there are also some of the reasons why Uhuru Ruto is initiating Gashagwa's removal Gashagwa can't be trusted and if there was any test it was on Uhuru Kenyatta personal assistant uhuru kenyatta a man who benefited a lot from the kenyatta family through that position but then how did he turn on uhuru kenyatta and made him his own enemy to an extent he touched on his properties this made william ruto to feel so uncomfortable to work with regarding shabwa he can't be trusted there was no trust so ruto aliingiwa na uwonga he developed cold feet kasema sasa huyu hayo ndio mambo sasa gashagwa anapitia lakini pia yeye alitusi wengine the issue of a region comes in and it pains gashagwa also still as a tribal leader because when you mention a whole region you come out more tribalist but you are a deputy president how comes a question that kenyans should ask themselves gashagwa has no any friend in rift valley he has no any confidential friend in rift valley who can stand with him yet he want to be a president in the near future and he want to serve as a deputy president how comes gashagwa has no any friend in all elected leaders from western region he don't have a friend even in in Nyanza. You go to coast, he don't have any. Now he's here calling a whole region. Yes, he's seeking for sympathy from Mount Kenya. But now dragging a whole region, a tribe, a community just to win his own people. It is even he don't have a control of his own region. And with that one region how do you expect it to help you really win the presidency you have to embrace the whole country be a national figure he has failed to do so but he's doing so just to seek the sympathy of his own people even beleka paka kwa hiyo kona kumsukuma pale asembe bila nasema But now gashako amefika kwamba kwamba ameona eh imefika mwisho. The matter may be discussed in the national assembly and gashako will be offered with an opportunity to defend himself. Before I defend himself they will have discussed a lot about him. His scandals will be tabled. So people will know a lot about him. Then the senate will provide an opportunity to interrogate him again. They will be exposing him. Sio yote mmefanya kuja anza kuongelea haya 
and now a lot will come out. We'll get to know more and more about these issues. I don't know your views, but let us be in the comment section to continue with this discussion. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in our next video. I had explained in the first video the reason why I've been away and not so much active on this channel. I have a sick person in hospital whom I had to be there for the person. And that's why I've not been able to produce timely and update you also timely. But I pray for the best, hoping that the person will get well and we will be here full time as usual. See you in our next video. Thank you so much.